Hi, my name is Veronica Argentieri. I'm going to be breaking down my film, Rose and Raven, that I acted in for my acting practicum here at JP Catholic. Rose and Raven is a short film that follows a teenage girl and her journey of becoming friends with a deaf boy. She struggles to leave the confines of her comfort zone even though she dreams of studying astronomy. This story means a lot to me because it's based on a friendship that I had when I was a kid. When I was nine, I had just moved and the first friend I had made was with a girl named Haley. Haley was deaf. A couple of years later, Haley tragically passed away in a skiing accident. I made this film to honor her and our friendship. So the first scene I'm gonna be breaking down is where Raven comes over to Rose's house for the first time. We talked about this when we were developing the script as the first time they were ever hanging out together uh, outside of school, which is where they met. We see Raven coming into Rose's room just gazing and looking almost with awe at all of her possessions, um, one of which is her many cameras that she has. He thinks that that is what she wants to pursue, is photography, because she has just so many cameras in her room. But her true passion has always been studying space. And Raven likes marine biology, Many, many years ago, I found this artwork online and it was of an astronaut and a deep sea diver. And to me, that was just such an interesting piece of artwork and how they were different, how they're on two different sides of the earth, but they're so similar because they are studying someplace that's isolated and not really known to man. So both of them are kind of at these opposite ends of feeling lonely and not connected to their community and then they find each other. So this next scene that I'm going to be breaking down is Rose and Raven are on the beach and they have built this sand fort. I really wanted a scene where they were doing this on the beach and that's because uh, I have a very vivid memory of me with my friend Haley uh, doing this on the beach for my birthday actually. So in this scene, Rose is reading a book on astronomy and Raven is journaling in a book that has the ocean on it. And he begins to ask her about what her dream is. This is the first time that Rose has really thought about what maybe she would want to pursue for her life. We see that from the beginning, Raven has always had a strong belief in Rose and that she can achieve whatever she wanted to do, which is study space. And that theme of him believing in her comes back throughout the film. We see that Rose is wearing a yellow shirt. And from the beginning, I made the choice not only as a creative producer, but as an actor that I wanted Rose to be in more neutral and kind of dark uh, gray or black tones at the beginning of the film when She's just first becoming friends with Raven and her hair is just plain black. And as the film goes on, she begins to wear more brighter colors and her hair changes. And we'll see this as we go through the scenes. Um, But in this scene, we see that she's wearing a yellow shirt. Her hair hasn't changed yet, but her color scheme that I wanted her to have was blue and yellow. And so this is, we see the first glimpses of her kind of opening up and becoming who she's meant to be. This scene was the very first scene where my co-star, Jared, and I had to uh, sign with each other. I was very nervous and very (laughs) terrified that I was going to get it wrong and uh, make a fool of myself while on set. But Jared, uh, who is actually deaf, Um, was very kind and helpful throughout the filming process. And whenever we wanted to run lines, he was always down and always helping me to perfect my sign language. Also, we had interpreters on set as well who helped us to communicate with Jared. So this next scene that I'm going to be talking about is when Rose is away at college and she has just come back from a party and she's calling back Raven. We learn along with Rose that 
Raven has passed away in a car accident. This was probably the most emotional scene for the filming process. My director, Nick, had everybody clear from the room, except for the essential people, such as sound and the DP. It was such a emotional and emotionally draining scene for me to perform. So it was good that we only did it a couple of times. So in this last scene, we see that Rose has come back from submitting her job application at the aquarium. And she finally makes the decision to read the letter, the mysterious letter that has been um, placed on her bed from Raven. Uh, what's interesting and really clever about this letter is that it is the same dialogue that we hear at the beginning of the film. Dear Rose, dear Rose sometimes I think I hear your voice echoing in my head. Sometimes I think I hear your voice echoing in my head. Or what I think your voice might have sounded like. So as we hear it again, we realize that it's not Rose and what she's thinking about Raven, but it's really Raven and this letter to her of him wishing her farewell as she goes on to college. And I think this really wraps up the film well because Rose's struggle was to pursue her dream and to leave behind her closest friendship. And now like she has almost like his blessing to pursue her dream and to be a piece that he is gone, even though he wrote <laughs> the letter before he passed away. This scene really hits home for me because as I was creating the story based on my life and going through the filming process, it really felt like I was able to receive closure from my friend's death, um, which happened when I was uh, still pretty young. And so I didn't get to really receive a lot of closure then. And so I feel like throughout this process of wanting to honor my friend, I was able to have the same peace and closure that Rose has at the end of the film. I love acting. I love learning about myself and learning about other people. It forces you to let go of insecurities and let go of fear. Um, I think fear cripples creativity. Um, and so I think every time you do a scene, you have to like shut it down, like shut down fear and just like stand in the light and like be seen.